Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Lindy and this is Much Love Tarot. Welcome everyone. Um, today we're going to be looking into, well, I honestly still have no idea how I'm going to call this video. Um, I noticed during a lot of the private readings that I did that the moon energy came up a whole lot. Uh, which to me just feels like a collective thing going on. That there are still a lot of things hidden from you. <clears throat> And with today's video, I kind of wanted to see whether or not we could get some answers. So a little bit clarifying the moon, what is hidden from you? Uh, what is it that you're not aware of? Or, you know, with everything that's going on, I just wanted to get some clarification. Again, I have no idea how I'm going to call this video. Um, probably going to go with like clarity or something that you need to know or something along those lines. Um, this is very much a tryout. I have no idea what's going to come out of this reading. Um, so we'll see. So as also, <laughs> um, your feedback on this video is very, very helpful. So I know that I can make more of this or that I should just not even bother uh, next time that this is not something that you would like to see. So definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, as always, you can still book private readings with me. My email address is in the description box below. Send me an email. I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know about that. The prizes, all the options that I have available, how it works, all that good stuff. Um, I also have a link tree link in the description box below. If you go over there, you'll find my Instagram and my TikTok account, as well as if you feel generous and would like to make a donation, all the ways to do that as well. Now, let's jump into today's video. So what is hidden from you? What I want to give you some clarity on what's going on, things that are hidden from you, anything like that. So pile number one, you are going to be this card right here with happiness. Happiness for pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be this card with blessings. Blessings for pile number two. And pile number three, you are going to be this card with fertility. Fertility. So if you need some more time to figure out or meditate on which pile belongs to you, then pause the video here and otherwise I will talk to you in your reading. Hi pal number one, if you chose this card with happiness, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're going to be looking into the question, what is hidden from you? What are you not aware of? What's the end goal? Um, what's the purpose? Um, with this card of happiness, the purpose and the clarity is that whatever it is that you're going through, how sour it may be. That it is for your happiness. Things leaving your life that are no longer serving you. Um, clearing the way or bringing in new opportunities for your long-term happiness. Even though you are you might be like, this makes no sense. I don't feel happy. Uh, this is the long-term happiness that we're talking about. That spirit tries to guide us, every one of us, towards Um but let me take a look at the tarot, what it says about this for you guys. So, pile number one. What is hidden from you? Can we get some clarity on the situation? What is going on? Okay, let's see what we have so far and then add some more. First off, we have the Fool. We have the Ten of Swords. The Six of Cups. And the two of ones. For me, this is already some sort of fresh new beginning, new start. But it's almost a fresh new start by something very painful. Something very painful happens that almost like forces you to have a fresh start. Um, as well as it, I feel like almost like makes you reminisce on the past, on memories, on good memories, good feelings, as well as it challenges you to move forward, um, have a different perspective on the situation as well. 
So definitely new beginnings, fresh starts. Just the way that they're, this is happening is might be very painful. Okay, what else? What is hidden for pile number one? What is hidden from pile number one? We have the Queen of Wands. So definitely with all this going on, what is hidden? I feel like your inner Queen of Wands so wanting to bring that out. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, this might even be a new job opportunity or um, going back to school as well. We also have the Four of Wands. That's kind of what I felt with that Six of Cups where it's like missing home distance missing home we have the moon again the moon i feel like the moon is such a collective energy right now uh we also have the hermits as well and then at the bottom of the deck we do have the sun which is happiness it is the happiness card so what is hidden from you it is <clears throat> your road to happiness it is that even though this is something that you're going through right now how messed up it may seem it is for your long-term happiness guiding you towards the long-term happiness i'm seeing for some of you very strongly that this might be a period of time where you lost someone whether that is someone passed away or someone left your life that was very painful very hurtful um but it does give you opportunities of new beginnings of finding and pursuing that happiness going inwards what do i want to do what brings me happiness what can i do with that again with that moon energy it is still hidden though like the the how and the when i feel like i'm seeing like the end station which is your happiness and the begin station which is that totally fresh new beginning um, new opportunities, new things coming in your life. I do see, again, missing family, missing home, or missing someone that feels like home. Um, and there might be some distance being there, as well as it triggers a lot of memories, a lot of thinking about this person or situation or happy memories or going back. For some of you, I'm feeling you might be feeling very low, again, with that Ten of Swords and... To the point where you're like, I just don't know. I just I just don't know anything. What I want to do, who I am, wh you know, what's going on. Um, with that, it can be some advice and guidance to look to your past. What were the moments in your life that made you feel the happiest? What are your happy memories from childhood? What did you like to do? What did you just do without even thinking about not because someone told you, not because that was expected of you, but because you were bored and this is what you started doing. Um, again, with that Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this will give you the opportunity to almost like find your purpose type of thing. Like, for instance, if you liked to build legos or build creations or you know something like that and then taking a look whether or not that you can turn that into a job or like work opportunities or something like that with that ace of pentacles maybe going back to school to study or um change everything around i'm just seeing again with that queen of wands you stepping into your own power as in more so Focus on, on what do I want to do? What do I like to do? And I feel like this is, like I said, very much the opportunity, the new chance of you actually giving that a shot. Not because you need to make money, not because you, you know, need to have a job, but because you actually like to, you're interested in it, you want to do this. Um... Again, I'm seeing the start and I'm seeing the finish. Everything that's the moon, man, there are still... <laughs> I'm just a bit frustrated because we're asking about that clarity. We're asking about that moon energy and then the moon comes up again where I'm like, you are the reason why we're doing this entire reading. 
Um, but let me get some oracles for you guys on this as well. So pile number one, what is hidden from you? What is hidden from you? And maybe even why is it hidden from you? Or just some clarity is what we want. Give us something. Okay. First off, we have commitment. Commitments. So for some of you, this might also be a relationship, new relationship coming in, or the commitment you're having in this relationship, testing your commitment. I'm also feeling for some of you, or most of you, that is more so the commitment you have towards yourself, towards your career, to, you know, um, pulling through this. We also have sacred pool. A sacred pool. And we have a magic stream. A magic stream. So a lot of water energy, a lot of emotions. For some of you, it might be... Um, you might be drawn to waters whether that's the sea a pond or whatever that is look at that at the bottom we have field of dreams as well field of dreams so dream big i think again with that hermit there is a need for you to find more calmer waters that sacred pool where I feel like what's going on in your life right now is more it gives you the opportunity to have a moment for yourself to think about, okay, what do I want to go? Really come in with peace. Uh, maybe have some meditation sessions about this situation, what's going on, why this is coming from me. And as well as instead of just looking at, you know, all the hurt and the pain, take a look at how can this be an opportunity from, for me? How can I move forward from this situation? Or maybe even use this situation to your advantage. Because right now, with that hurt, like I said, there is some sort of imbalance with yourself. Where it's very much reminiscing of the past. Where did it go wrong? How did I do this wrong? How did I end up in this place? Um, and I think Spirit is trying to guide you into, again, your purpose, your commitment towards yourself. You know what? I've been through a lot. I deserve happiness. I'm going to make this happiness for myself. new chances new opportunities okay what else do i want i just want to get one of these cards these historical cards to get some guidance from spirit uh we have charity with prayer and contemplation Connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. So even if this is a situation where you're like, you know what, with everything that's going on, I should not, this is not a time for me to be selfish or this is not the time for me to only think about myself or ask things for me. Where this is saying, no, no, do. Connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. This is a new fresh start, a new beginning. But you will have to vocalize what is it that you want to manifest. What is it that you want spirit to bring into your life? Again, with that full energy, have a clean sleigh. Spirit is listening. It is listening to you. But with that hermit, there is a need for you to, again, reflect, find the answers within. What is it that you can ask spirit? What do you really desire? What do you really want to... You know, what is your happiness? What does that look like? Okay. 
Okay, any advice or guidance for pile number one? Okay, we have a lot more. I wanted one, we have two. Uh, we have Archangel Michael with Trusting Heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close, surrender your concerns, and allow a miracle to occur. Again, the heavens going, or a spirit going, you know what? We are here. We are here. We are here to help. Trust us. Because um, we're listening. And we also have Hilarion with Divine Healing. And it says, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. So there, they, I feel like there's just so much like potential for you. Um, for some of you, it might be your purpose to help other people. It might be your purpose to support other people in need as well. But again, right now, I feel like Spirit's almost saying, like, like, right now is the time to be selfish. To have, you know, a look of, okay, but what is my happiness? Because with that Ten of Swords, you have been through enough already. You have hurt enough without getting anything from that pain. Other than more pain. And again, backtracking with, like, the happy memories, what about maybe previous jobs, did you like, what didn't you like, what would you, you know, figuring out for yourself, okay, who am I, what makes me happy? And go after that. So I honestly kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys. I feel like with that moon energy here, I'm not going to get any more clarity than this. Um, so I hope it resonated. I hope it resonated. I hope it was helpful. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also, let me know if you enjoyed watching this uh, by liking the video or leaving a comment so I know that I can either make more of this type of content or move on from this. Uh, so definitely let me know. I love the feedback. And I'd love to hear the stories about how this resonates, how this fits in and what this is about. Um, so yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, that's very helpful for me as well, it shows your support to me and the channel as well, so thank you all so, so much for doing so, for being here, for all the love and support, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, go kick ass, you absolutely got this, and hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi pal number two, so if you chose this card with blessings, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're going to be looking into... Um, this moon energy. So giving you some more clarity, um, some more answers. Again, I'm not sure how I'm going to call this video yet. Uh, but I wanted to clarify again with the moon in the background. Uh, that moon energy that has been in the air recently with a lot of people, a lot of things hidden from you. Uh, with this blessings card, it's either you not being able to see the blessings that are right in front of you at this time. Uh, and for others of you, I'm seeing that this could be the blessings that are coming, that are still hidden. That you're on this path, that you're going through this in order to receive these blessings by the end of it. But let's take a look how this fits in with the tarot for you guys. So pile number two. What is hidden from you? What is hidden for pile number two? What is hidden? Can we get some clarity on what's going on? Okay, we have a lot for you guys. A lot, a lot. Let's see what we have so far. So first off, we have the strength card. We have the two of pentacles. We have the nine of wands. The Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Star, the Hermit, and we have the Two of Wands. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, okay. So on one end, I'm feeling that you're going through this in order to find out how strong you really are, that you can find your own balance, your own, um, you know, getting yourself back out there. 
even though it has been a hard road, a tough, tiring road, that on one end I'm feeling that you don't need that Knight of Cups to swoop you up and, you know, help you and support you. Um, as well as, for some of you, I'm seeing that is also not the right timing for that Knight of Cups to come in just yet. I definitely feel that it is coming. For those of you that are single, I definitely feel that there is going to be some love interest coming. Um, but it might take a while with that star as well. High hopes for the future. For those of you that are in a relationship, I feel this is a rough patch that you guys can work through it might be helpful to have a third party um to like steer the way a little bit uh, that can be like a life coach a uh, relationship therapist or you know anything like that um i'm just seeing for all of you a lot of just again tiredness you've been on this road for a long time you've been through a lot and it's gotten to the point where you're like is this worth it do i want to continue the way i have been continuing or should i make changes um a bit defensiveness about it as well but like trying there's this trying and search for that internal balance but at the same time with that four of pentacles there are some closed doors within yourself that you feel like you shouldn't touch you cannot touch whether that's like family members that you're for some of you i'm seeing like something happened with let me give you an example let's say like the way you were brought up right the relationship you have with a parent and kind of that's a door that you don't want to look at it's painful to look at you kind of lock that door closed it up and as long as you don't look at it you you think that it doesn't affect you it doesn't hurt you anymore but it wasn't really addressed it wasn't really dealt with um and with that there is that defensiveness of that parent where it's well they tried their best well they did what they knew what best uh, well, they were brought up this way, you know, finding a little bit excuses for, look at that, defending, and it looks like they're ghosts, that they're not really there, where he is very much materialized, and they are a little bit of, you know, grimy people, where it's like defending people that might not defend you in the same way, um, where if that's the case for you, um, Again, it can be very helpful to um, address that or work through that with a therapist, with someone licensed, with someone that can help you through this situation and work through this situation safely where you don't get hurt again by opening that door. Because I feel like this situation is... It's gotten to the point where it's like, this is not working for me. I do, I'm do. i not happy. I'm just tired. I'm done. Um, and I feel like you are at the point where you're trying to find that balance. But with that strength card, it's already causing you a lot of strength to just, you know, get out of bed in the morning. Um, there is that desire to have someone come where you know that desire to have someone that you can lean on um that will help you through this that you know be your rock but at the same time i feel like this is spirit keeping that off just to for you to figure it out for yourself to know how strong you are and that you don't need someone else to overcome things and that that will be the blessing that is coming but that still is a little bit hidden here as well uh, but I do feel it's gone to a point where you are, I don't want to say desperate, but gotten to the point where you start looking outward, start looking elsewhere for answers. Like this is what you have been doing right now is not working. What can I do differently to have a different result? And with that search on how can we move forward, 
again, it will take some time because there are a lot of closed doors or um, grim corners of your mind or memory that you don't like to look. But again, we have that star energy, which is beautiful energy of good intent. Like, how do you say this? Like, having the attention and hope of that changing. Having high hope for the future of, you know. Because I feel like you have been trying to manifest blessings, this person, happiness. Um, but again, there there are some things standing in the way which I think um, you would benefit by addressing, working through. Again, if you feel, because that can be, like, our own mind can be such a scary place. Um, again, it can be helpful to have some help from the outside, whether... You know, if you're scared to go to a therapist or say, you know, I'm, therapy is for crazy people. I'm not crazy. I can do this on my own. Fair. If that's what you think, that's fair. Then try talking to friends or loved ones or fr someone from church or, you know, someone that has that position in your religion, in your community, whatever. Um, friends, family members, your inner circle, maybe your outer circle, maybe strangers on the internet. But try. Because I feel like once you hit that balance, because I do see it happening here, otherwise this one wouldn't be here. Um, I feel like all the blessings that you have been wanting to manifest will come in, including that Knight of Cups, which is a offer of love. I just feel there needs to be more balance or things that need to be, again, addressed, worked through. Stuff like that. So let me get some oracles. And I feel like why this... That's the only thing with that moon where it's like, you know, the moon was hidden things. One, I'm a bit questioning why that was so hidden to you. Um, and two, like... Why does it have to be such a frustrating process for you? Because I do have to say, I do feel somewhat of stubborn energy <laughs> coming from this. Um, which is also something that, you know, sometimes need to be heard. It kind of reminds me of all oh, that book. Oh, what? I keep forgetting her name, but she was a Nickelodeon star and her book was about I'm glad or relieved. I'm paraphrasing. I don't know the exact name of the book. It's about I'm glad my mom died type thing where we have mothers on a pedestal and you know, giving it a chance over and over and over until the reality hit. This is just who she is. This is how she treats me. Yes, she is my mom. But there's a difference between, you know, she is not portraying her role, how a mother should be to from society point of view. So why should I treat her that way? Just because she has that label mom. Right? She's not giving you what a mom's supposed to do, which is safety, security. So why should you treat her and forgive her for everything every time? I feel like that's a little bit similar to the, this defensiveness. That you are defending this process or things that happened and like m coming up with explanations of why they acted that way. You know, what happened and defending them a little bit in that way where it's like, well, it's logic if you think about it. Where in reality, you got hurt. That's the reality of the things. Um, but let me take a look how or what the oracle uh, can add to this situation. So pile number two. What is hidden from you? 
what is hidden from you any clarity and with that blessings as well like that is hidden that these blessings are you know spirit is to the point where it's like okay we want to bring in all this good stuff we have beautiful high hope the intention is there but there needs some work that needs to be done this cannot stay in your life for the blessings to come in um we also have encouragement look at that encouragement and we also have movement movement this one when i draw this one i thought it was the coming together one this one i don't see that often but it's encouragement and look at that it is also like a mother and a child this is what a mother is supposed to be encouraging the child to explore to make mistakes to you know experience life as well as movement for some of you it might be a good idea if if this is an idea that was played around in your head for a little bit to move away to physically move yourself towards another space and out this maybe toxic situation then you know this is your um confirmation for that again it's also just again movement moving away from this situation letting go leaving it in the past it's no longer like what are you carrying on your back right you need to be selective because if you carry everything you are gonna crush under the weight of things moving away from home for some of you or moving away to, yeah Something that feels like home. What else? Some clarity. <laughs> home. We have home. <laughs> okay. Maybe even to create your own home as well. So for some of you, I feel like there have been a lot of signs from spirit, uh, ideas, um, opportunities for you to create your own home, move away from this. Um, and I feel like spirit has been trying to encourage you to, again, deal with this and in a healthy way, move on. Because spirit ultimately wants your happiness, right? Spirit wants to bring in these blessings um, in your life. Okay, let me get some final oracles for you guys on this. So pile number two. Any advice, guidance, clarity on this situation? Let's see. First off, we have Kali Ma with facing fear major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar so it's almost the spirit's like well we got everything in order everything is here for you a lot of changes are happening i think within yourself this i feel like this reading is just going to be a confirmation for you where you're like okay i already felt that i either needed help or movement or move on or you know the direction you were supposed to go you already felt it but there was some i don't know something kind of like holding you back where this is just no it's it's like the confirmation of facing your fears it's it's scary yes but spirit's got your back. Spirit wants to bring in these blessings. But you are the one that have to take the steps. Spirit is not going to drop that person on your doorstep. You know, they're not going to drop the... Just giving it all. You know, there are things that you need to do. Step outside of your comfort zone. Do things differently. We also have Serapis Bay with... Ascension, move into your true self, rise above darkness, the light is here. Again, for some of you, this this might be um, 
I feel like for some of you, it feels a bit that you are like created a certain way to fit someone else, but Because I feel like once that door is open, that four of pentacles, I think after that, you can really explore who am I? What do I like to do? What do I want to do? What brings in my happiness? What do I, you know, and really exploring yourself, move into your true self, rise above the darkness of, you know, everything that happened in your life. And the light is here. Blessings are on, you know. I, I like I said, they are not gonna bring you them to your doorstep, but they are, I feel like, on your doorstep, right outside of you to grab. You just have to have that movement. And I feel like spirit has been trying to encourage you to take a look, take a peep, even though it's scary. We also have Kuan Yin with care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Offer a helping hand. <sighs> Choose to be love. Do what's right for everyone involved. So for some of you where this you go like, well, look, you know, I need to help everyone. Sometimes it's also helpful for everyone involved to distance yourself, to move away, um, offer a helping hand for those that need it, be love, be light, choose light, don't hold grudges. Um, I feel like it's very much go look for your inner self, your true self, but stay light towards the outside as well. Um, offer help to those that need it, not necessarily to those that want it or claim it. Um, and I feel for some of you, you might have had a spiritual awakening or that's being put in place as well so yeah i kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys because i feel like otherwise i'm just going to repeat myself over and over um so i hope it was helpful i hope it resonated if it did definitely let me know in the comments down below how this fitted in for you uh thank you all so much for sharing your stories it really means a lot to me that you trust me enough to you know listen to me and then share your story as well so thank you all so so much for doing so uh like the video if you enjoyed this type of content so i know that i can make more of it or let me know in the comments as well um subscribe if you haven't already that's very helpful for me shows your support to me and the channel as well so thank you all so so much again for being here for all the love and support i have been getting have a wonderful wonderful kick-ass rest of your day you absolutely got this i feel such a powerful energy like so much this is going to be such a ugh, sucky word, but so much potential of, you know, I feel like you could conquer the world, to be honest, right? Um, so go have a wonderful day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number three. So if you chose this card with fertility, then this is going to be your reading today. So I still have no idea what I'm going to call this. Um, this video but we're gonna ask about some clarity what is hidden from you what is you know just getting some clarity on what's going on or what you don't know or what because the moon is so present in a lot of the readings that i do so i just want to get some clarity for you on this so with this fertility for some of you it can be very direct in the way that you might be pregnant um for others of you i feel like this could also be the birth of a new idea a new cycle something starting to happen something to change um But it's still, and I feel like, look at her, because she looks very happy with this. That this is an idea or a way of thinking that not just changes her life, but also brings in, like, happiness, fulfillment. 
type thing. Uh, but let me take a look how this fits in with the tarot, what the tarot has to say about this. So, pile number three, what is being hidden from you with this fertility? What is being hidden here for pile number three? What is hidden? Okay, let's see. Look at that. Okay, okay, let me gather everything and see. I don't think we need more, but let's see what we have. We have the sun to start with, which is a good beginning. We have the two of wands. We have the ace of wands. The page of swords. We have temperance. The king of wands. The ten of pentacles. The three of swords. The two of pentacles. And we have the knight of wands. Okay, let me scooch everything over so we can also add the overall energy to this and that is the king of pentacles the king of pentacles so what is hidden from you pile number three with the sun that's it. the sun is happiness right it is joyful it is feeling great Ten of Pentacles is that long-term committed relationship that long or like long-term happiness, you know, having a house, having a car, whether that's a relationship or not, having a legacy. Hard work paying off. Hmm. So I'm seeing a lot of different things. For some of you, I feel like this could be about a relationship, right? About a legacy where you're dealing with a king of wands, but the overall energy, again, is that king of pentacles, which is one that fits that ten of pentacles, which is a long-term partner, someone ready to settle down, someone ready to... Um, to marry and have that legacy, have that long-term committed relationship and maybe dealing with that king of wands at the moment. Where I feel like there is... But I'm not to the point where it's like, oh, you know... I feel like this could change into this eventually, over time. Right? I feel like for some of you, it is to the point where you have this picture in your mind, right? How that long-term committed partner should look like or be like or what they should want. And the reality is that they are not. But at the same time, I do feel that it works. I'm not hating on this person at all. I think you guys with the two of pentacles and a temperance, you guys balance each other out really well. But because they don't fit into this perfect box that you have created, you're hurting yourself by trying to cramp them into that box. Um, and I think there is a need for those of you in that situation for you to look elsewhere, to expand that box, you know. Because I think this is only hurting you in the long term. For some of you, I'm also seeing that this might be a job or um, something creative. For those of you that are single and uh, are ready to mingle, no, not necessarily to mingle, but this is going to be, again, for a couple of you that doesn't, doesn't necessarily feel like they need a partner to have a fulfilling life. Um, I'm seeing with that Ace of Wands new opportunities, new ideas of something creative that you can do that can bring in abundance. Abundance. But there is a need of balance, trying to find that middle ground, middle path 
uh, between that new idea. Like, uh, I'm not seeing, like, quitting your job and full focus on this. I think there needs to be a balance. I think you can start that off. Really trying to figure out how can you make that work? Where is it coming from? Uh, maybe it starts as a hobby and turns into a full-time job. Um, but there needs to be some sort of, like, you know, plan. I'm saying there needs to be a plan, but not too much in detail. It, A plan to that, you know, sometimes some people have a plan and they're like, okay, I need to really figure this out before I can start doing this, right? But there needs to be a plan and it needs to be logical thinking, um, but there also needs to be a start. Um, so find that middle ground with that as well. But I definitely feel that for all of you, this is what is hidden from you and some clarity is that there is a new idea or a new cycle starting. Almost where it's like it's still hidden because of that moon energy that we're trying to clarify. But it's like, I'm not hating that it's hidden. Like, trust the universe, trust that this idea will manifest, that it will bring in the happiness and the balance that you seek and desire. And it might come from a place that you, one you were not expecting. Um, the two ones sometimes talk about distant. Um, it can also just look like exploring, finding out new things that you like to do. And having fun with it. And then it will more naturally flow into that long term. Settling down. Being comfortable. Um, legacy. All these things coming in. Okay, let me see if I can get some more clarity on this situation with the oracle for you guys so pile number three can we get some clarity we have flying flying so for some of you it might as well be an opportunity coming in overseas or some distance playing a part here as well as it might seem too good to be true Okay, I'm gonna get some more clarity. You guys, this pile is the one when I started with that fertility, I was already where I'm like, I'm not familiar with this energy or what's going on. So I already knew I was gonna have a hard time with you. And look at that, I'm having a hard time. Let's see, we also have a one ring circus, a one ring circus for you. And we also have Ride the Wave. Ride the Wave. I feel like whatever will come to you, just go with it. Um, the only one I'm a bit, I don't want to say worried about, is that Three of Swords, which is a lot of heartache. A lot of pain, a lot of, you know... To the degree of it could feel like your heart being ripped to pieces. But I'm feeling in that situation, again, ride the wave, go with it. For some of you, it might feel like you're becoming a one ring circus. that Everyone's looking at you, loving at you, having an opinion about you, um, talking about you behind your back. But at the same time, again, with that fertility, I feel like there will be an idea or opportunity or thing coming in your way, in your path that is going to be totally new. And it will feel like flying once you go with it. It feels like an escape, almost, for some of you. Okay, can I get some advice or guidance for pile number three on this situation? I feel like for you guys, this is going to be very specific and very different for everyone. 
uh, but let me see what we have. We have Odin, psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. And we also have Hilarion with divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. With this as well, like, to me, this is so about, like, almost ignoring drama, not getting involved or not feeding the drama, the talking, the people that are backstabbers, the people that, you know, have no place in your life. And moving on from that, following your intuition, listening to your intuition, maybe about that new opportunity, that creative thing that you have been trying to manifest or this idea that you had that people around you are like, well, you know, maybe not. And you're trying to find like middle ground, how you can do that as a hobby while still satisfying everyone else. But I feel a lot of the people are less interested in your happiness or more so in more interested in their thought of your happiness, how they think that you would be happy. Right. Um, with Hilarion, that is um, just a little bit of a reminder that there is some healing needed. You need to take a little bit of a break of a step back, contemplating what is going on. How am I feeling? Why am I feeling this way? Where do I want to go? How do I feel without everyone else's opinion? This is something I say <laughs> regularly in uh, readings. Where the question is, if everyone with an opinion around you would die, would no longer be there, what decision would you make? And following that. Without anyone's expectations, without anyone's like pressuring you. If you were free from it all, what decision would you make? Because I feel like whatever decision you make, you can make it a success. You can, you know, move it forward. We also have Isis with magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Stay focused. Eye on the prize. Go after what it is that you want. You are manifesting this. I kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys. I think I'm just going to repeat myself. I think it became clear to however the situation is for you. Because I think it's very different for a lot of different uh, people watching. Because I'm getting a lot of different <laughs> energies coming from this. Uh, and I think if I talk more, it would just get more confusing. Um, so yeah, I am going to leave it here. Um, definitely let me know in the comments down below how this fits in for you. Um because you know this is a lot um, so definitely let me know also let me know if you enjoyed watching this so i know that i can make more of this type of content like the video if you enjoyed watching it subscribe if you haven't already that's very helpful for me shows your support um to me and the channel as well so thank you all so so much for all the beautiful messages i have been getting all the love and support here on the channel um it truly means a lot to me so thank you all so so much for doing so for being here um in the meantime just have a kick-ass rest of your day go get them like just trust yourself and trust your intuition and if you need a break take a break uh, but have a wonderful rest of your day go kick ass and hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading